Um, for me, I actually had never heard of Elon before um, sophomore year in high school. And I was walking through the halls in my high school and I saw a poster that outlined like the SAT score you needed to have to go to Elon and just basically the stats for the school. And I was like, you know what? I can go there. So it became a challenge for me and my grades um, started to resemble my effort to try and make it into Elon and then I came here and I toured and I was like, you know, this is a good fit for me. It, it kind of resembled the apartment in the sky, the, the deluxe apartment in the sky, so I definitely wanted to make it to the tier and I'm happy that I'm here. My mom, she actually found Elon University on this list of number one top colleges that were, um, like the scenery was beautiful, the top green schools. And she was like, yeah, go to check out Elon. I was like, okay. And so she ordered some information. And then I saw Anderson Cooper in the um, section where the communication school was for the brochure. I was like, I'm definitely going here because Anderson Cooper walked these very <laughs> <He> bricks. <laughs> Let's see, Elon. I was one of those crazy girls who applied just all over the place and wasn't exactly sure what was going to happen, where I was going to end up. Uh, I came here for Fellows Weekend because I was applying for both Leadership Fellow and Honors Fellows. And I could just feel something different about Elon. There was an energy, there was a vibe to it. I just really loved it. And I remember going to a service learning workshop they had. And after the workshop, one of the directors in the Coronal Center invited me over to the Coronal Center. I was like, hey, here, come meet all the staff. And we'd love to have you get involved. And I remember seeing all these pictures of student leaders in the Coronal Center up there. And I was like, I'm going to be on that board one day. And just a combination of the global mindset and uh, just the energy and the engaged learning, there's a lot of things that came together for me. And so when I found out I got the Honors Fellow Scholarship, like, okay, guess this is it. I'm going to Elon. I remember having a pro con list, and I had like one con, and that was the fact that it was on the other side of the country because I'm from Utah, and the rest was like all pros. Okay, guess we made my decision. This is officially so for me because I didn't choose Elon, but I feel that God chose Elon for me. I was busy um, looking into other schools. I don't know why. I didn't know what criteria I should use to choose a school. I didn't know what I wanted, and then. After I had applied to many schools, I applied to Elon and I got in, I got full tuition, I came to see the school and then I started falling in love with Elon. So that's how I chose Elon. And now since I've been in Elon, I feel like I've made a great decision because this is a small, intimate environment. Um, the professors really want to get to know you as a student. Um, you can get as much help as you possibly want. Um, and I feel like this is a great place to start off. Looking into Elon more and more, I saw the opportunities to study abroad and that absolutely captivated my heart. Um, I saw also that Elon being such a small school had smaller class sizes and I thought, yeah, you know, that's the kind of um, close interactions and relationships I want both with my peers and my uh, professors. And as I got here, I also realized the importance of that small community because the leadership opportunities were afforded here are phenomenal and I just think it's absolutely not something that we could train.